Hey guys, it's Amethyst Mahoney with Heart and Soul Business, and today I want to show you how to get some HTML code if you need some for your widget. And that is why Periscope is actually still whistling at me. So let me uh, see if I can turn that down. Um, so I'm over at my website, and I just added my Catch Me widget over here to play the Periscope episodes that I'm automatically downloading. It doesn't play it directly from here, so I need to give some people some directions to go over and uh, get the Catch Me at uh, the website here. But this looks horrible and it's got no link, so what I'd like to do is make it larger and I want to put it above right here and I want to have it link. So I do not know HTML code at all. I am the worst with you know programming anything or trying to do HTML code or anything like that I just don't know how to do it so here's how I cheat it on WordPress what I like to do is that's actually my widget page I go into my dashboard here and I go under post and I have a draft post that I use just for this purpose I never publish this post and I'm going to go in and under text, and you can do it under visual if you would rather do that. Let's just do it that way. If it will load here, it's a slow load day. Well, it doesn't want to do it. But anyway, let's say um, catch me or catch the Periscope replays at www catch.me slash heart and soul bits. Okay, so let's hit visual again. Okay, great. And we're just going to make this uh, 16 point. And then what I'm going to do is put a link here. And that's, uh, let me just go over to my catch page, which is here. And I'm going to snag my link to make sure that it's correct. Because really, I am not good at this kind of code at all. You want to hit open link in a new window or tab and add it. And there it is right there. Now what I can do is it makes the HTML code for me. So I can copy that, go into my widget. I'm going to save this like this. And um, let me see what it looks like if I put it in the same text widget. So save that. And I'm going to go refresh my page. Okay, so it looks, it looks bad with that right there, but the link is there. So we'll go back into the edit because I don't want that space. And we'll take that out and hit that. And I can just show you that if you under visual, it took that out. So I'm going to go under the text again, and I'm going to copy it and paste it again. And we'll see if that leaves it short enough to only show up on the two lines. We'll save the widget and refresh this page. And there it is. So I think one more thing I want to do is I want it to show that it is actually a link here. So right now it's just the gray color. So I'm going to go into my Photoshop here. I already have a link with my colors. And I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to copy that code right there. I'm going to go back to the page here and I think what I want to do is I want to make this black so it shows up really strongly and this I'll put in my custom color code that I just snagged from my picture that I already had made and now it's got all of this HTML code like with the colors and the link and the other color I could never do that on my own. I just don't know how to do that. So fortunately, I don't have to. Okay, so we'll delete that and we'll post the new code. We'll save it again. Refresh it one more time. And there we go. Now I'm happy with that. So now when people come over, 
they can um, they can see that it's right there and then they can go straight and look at my catch replays right there so that is how to get some HTML code to put on your widget if you don't know how to do it like I don't know how to do it I'll probably go in and put a space in right there um, with a little uh, either the and code or the break line code um, I have that saved somewhere uh, but that is how you do it and if you don't know how to do that actually let me just show you how to do it really quickly so we should just be able to cut this out and save that this is how I cheat I cheat a lot <laughs> on my um, on my how to do widgets and encoding and things like that so I believe it's this one we'll paste it in here and we'll save this and let me just check the next text to make sure that is the TCM certified uh, link. So here's the catch me frame. So we want this above that. So it'll be the color, the link, and then that. Okay, so that should work. Refresh it one more time. And what it does is when you put it in two separate boxes like that, it automatically creates a space there. So um, you know you can put it in one box and put the space in or if you don't know how to do that you can just kind of cheat it and um, it's a little bit too much of a space there so I'll probably go back in but anyway that is always an option and so that is how you cheat and get HTML code for your widgets and other places you might need them on your website this is one of the reasons I love WordPress so much if um, you know if you don't know HTML code you don't know how to program you don't have to learn all of that stuff there's fun little ways that you that it will actually give you that information for you so thanks so much for joining me again it's Amethyst Mahoney from Heart and Soul Business you can come find me at www.amethystmahoney.com and I will see you with more business and marketing tips in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything okay bye